Okay. So it is May the 1st. Isn't that great? May the 1st, the best time of the year. You know, all sorts of things have happened in the lacrosse world. You know, I mean, come on. The day after I made, you know, um, the update for like April 18th or whatever, things started going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Things started going crazy. The NLL playoffs, they have been set. Halifax beat Georgia. So, you know, that was a big thing that got set. So Halifax and Toronto will square off on May 5th, along with Colorado, San Diego. <laughs> like This is like a third game in the last five weeks that these two teams have played, Colorado and San Diego. That will also be on May 5th. So after you watch the Toronto game, get over and watch that San Diego game on the plus. And then two games on ESPNU on Saturday night. Rochester, Buffalo. Buffalo with the number one overall seed throughout the playoffs. And then Panther City, Calgary. Also on ESPNU, the game after. At about 9.30 Eastern time. It's going to be a good night of lacrosse. Real, real good night that night. And in college lacrosse, we have, you know, we have the same old stuff. It's Duke, Notre Dame, and Virginia, the top three seeds. They are going to be in some order. We don't know what this order is going to be, but they're going to be in some order. Um, there's some bubbles that got burst, like Syracuse, who lost Duke, North Carolina, who lost to Notre Dame earlier um, in the season. And again, they lost to Syracuse, so, you know, that, that, that kind of cancels itself out. North Carolina is out. Just everything, all the metrics on North Carolina are just far too low. Same thing with Syracuse. And Rutgers lost to Maryland in the Big Ten quarterfinal. So that kind of got moot there. And then Michigan beat Ohio State again. So they, again, could be a bit thief. Along with Princeton, uh... You know, I wouldn't say Providence's, but I know somebody's going to say Providence, but I mean, I don't think so. And then the MAC, the, they also had their quarterfinals. Maris defeated Quinnipiac in a 29-19 to game. I know, crazy, right? 29-19. to And then Siena defeated Sacred Heart in the other quarterfinal. And the, my biggest question, you know, coming out as we head into the final week of the regular season in college across the conference tournaments that is the ivy league three teams could there be three teams in because the bubble comes down to this villanova denver yale and penn it comes down to this and you know a lot of metrics have penn seeded which i don't agree with but again they have the wins they have the, again the metrics favor them in every single facet, and that's why, you know, you see a lot of brackets with, you know, Penn over a team like Georgetown, because Penn beat Georgetown, which makes absolutely no sense, but it is what it is. Georgetown struggles early in the season have been mitigated, obviously. We'll talk about all that in a moment. So, the games we got to keep our eyes on. We have to keep our eyes on the Big Ten and the Big East on May the 4th. We have to keep our eyes on those games. You know, it'll be Michigan, Penn State, and then Johns Hopkins, Maryland, Part 2. We're going to see that game yet again in the Big East semifinals. Providence, Georgetown, and then the bubble. The bubble really comes down to Denver, Villanova. It's really, I think this will be the game. That will have us either, you know, you know, like, oh, yeah, Bill Tierney, he's he's going back one last time, his final year, you know, before his retirement, he's going back to the tournament. Or will it be Villanova? In the Ivy League, the next day, Cornell, Yale, Princeton, Penn. Straightforward, going to be insane. I, I don't know if I'll be able to watch the Cornell-Yale game, but I know Princeton-Penn might be on my radar. 
you know, and then the Patriot League. The Patriot League is going to be interesting to see which Patriot League team are we going to get. Unfortunately, I don't think there's going to be two Patriot League teams. I wish there was. I wish there was. You know, I really wish there was, but there just isn't isn't going to be. I hate it, but it, it's not it's not meant to be. Wh who will take on Boston U? Will it be Lafayette, Loyola, or Navy taking on Boston U? And who will take on Army? Will it be Lehigh, Loyola, or Navy? We don't know. We'll find out. And then May 6th, North Carolina, Notre Dame Part 2, Notre Dame... You know, they lost to Virginia yesterday again. And it's like, you know, they lost again. It's like, you know, maybe Notre Dame can make a case for like a number one seed. But really, I think it should be Duke. <laughs> that should be the number one seed. And then, you know, you could flip flop. Again, you could just flip flop all three of these teams and it wouldn't even matter. It's just so hard to predict, really so hard to predict. Like, you know, like some brackets have Virginia 1, Notre Dame 2, and Duke 3, which, I mean, I guess, I guess. I don't know. And then the other, you know, obviously the championship games, the Big East, the Big Ten championships, Saturday afternoon, and then Sunday morning, the Ivy League and the Patriot League championships, so there's that. And there are other teams that, you know, there's plenty of other conference tournaments to get through. You know, it's not just the three ACC teams that are going to be in. It's not just the other major conferences in College Cross. The other conferences have their own sort of thing. And tomorrow it'll be Mercer, Bellarmine, and Jacksonville. Yes, Jacksonville, who fell from grace was ranked like the top 10 for a good chunk of the season and fell out of the top 10 through losing an A-Sun play. And they'll be taking on Robert Morris, who hosts the tournament. That'll be the first set of games for conference tournaments, you know, aside from the max conference tournaments already played, but the, the week-long run of conference tournaments anyway. And then... One of Mercer and Bellarmine will take on Utah, and the other of Jacksonville, Robert Morris, will take on Air Force on May the 5th. So that is Friday, and then Sunday, after the after Duke takes on Merrimack for some reason, like it'll be during that, that's when the A-Sun Championship will be played. That will be, it will, it'll be either that or Duke-Merrimack as the final game of the season before the tournament. In the America East, it's a total crapshoot. You could pick any of these two, any of these four teams to win it all. Will it be Vermont? Will it be Albany? Or will it be Bryant and Binghamton? We'll find out May 4th who's going to the championship on May the 6th. That game will be televised on ESPNU. I think that'll be the early game. Uh, the 8 in High Point, St. Joe's at UMass Richmond, May 4th, with the championship on May the 6th. CAA, Towson, Delaware. going to be a good one. Stony Brook and Drexel in the other one, the other semifinal. Delaware is the favorite in the CAA with the championship on May the 6th. And then the MAC, you know, Marist, Mount St. Mary's, and then Siena and Manhattan on May the 4th. And then the championship will be May 6th. Because there are nine conferences, there will be a playing game. That will be a Wednesday. I'll definitely be looking at the play again. Hopefully, it'll be at a later time in the evening so that I can watch it fully and not have to, you know, wait until that Saturday. So the PLL. So like the, again, the day after I will, I even said in a post about it. Hey, those matchups. Those times we were looking for, all those were finalized the day after I released that video. Like, if, further, if you look further on ESPN's advanced schedules, you go to the press room, you go search schedules, you go in there, you click, you can click anything, just click, like, just go down, go to advanced search, click lacrosse, go to professional, men's, boom, there it is. At least 
three matchups we have so far for ABC, one for ESPN, the first three weeks of the season. Remember, those first three weeks of the season are going to be before the World Lacrosse Championships. And also, the All-Star Game, it's going to be in Louisville on July 22nd. And I believe the All-Star Game was finalized as a time for 4 p.m. And then the skills competition is like 6 o'clock or something like that. But honestly, again, I don't care about the All-Star Game. I'm just happy that more cities get you know, lacrosse-related things. I think it's going to be in a soccer stadium, if I'm not mistaken. And then World Lacrosse has some games set for ESPN2 and ESPNU based on the advanced schedules already. I think it's just ESPN2. Um, USA Canada, we know, is going to be the opener. That will be the game that's going to be on June the 21st. It's going to be on ESPN2. The city finals are at 7 at 10 p.m., and I'm using Central Time. Remember, I live in the Central Time Zone. So that will be, those semifinals will be June 29th, also on ESPN2. And the championship, remember, the championship is July the 1st. Don't know what ESPN network it will be yet because ESPN hasn't set those games far out in advance. These are the games I'm going to be looking at. I'm going to be looking at the opener between U.S. and Canada, the semis, and the championship. I mean, there's just... I'm not as particularly interested in what World Lacrosse is doing. I get it. Trying to grow the game, you know, get the Olympics, you know, get more countries playing lacrosse. But honestly, this is an American and Canadian and Native American dominated sport. So, you know, this is a sport that kind of needs to, you know, kind of needs to know that, you know, hey, the Haudenosaunee Canadians and the Americans are always dominating the, these tournaments. Why are why are like why are half of these other teams even here? But hey, it's all a part of the fun, and you know, getting more countries in lacrosse the better. You know, I seen some videos the other day, like it, you know, there's like you know Irish people learning about lacrosse, which is wow, wow, that's, that's something, something good, some real good stuff. So in any case. I'm ready. We have reached May. It's time to march into the summer. Whew. When we come back, it will be... Uh, I'm trying to think. Will it be the PLL Draft Day? Will it be Selections... Will it be Selection Sunday? Will it be the day of the PLL Draft? Will it be the day of the playing game? I don't... I do not know. I really don't know. I'm, I'm gunning for the day after all three of those. I'm gunning for. I'm I'm probably gunning for maybe 11 when we come back to talking about the lacrosse. I really am gunning for that date because then we can properly talk. You know the 16 teams because a playing game is playing game. You know, or I can just come in the day of the playing game and talk. You know everything, but again. I don't know. I don't know. Everything's in flux right now. I'll see you all on Sunday night after the conclusion of whatever indoor arena football game is going to be on. I don't know which. I don't know which. I don't know. It's going to be an NL game or a uh, IFL game. I don't know which. But what do y'all think? I've seen some people say that it's going to be Buffalo, San Diego, Indian NL Cup. I hope. I hope not. I hope we can get something a little bit more crazy, if that makes any sense. All right, see ya.